starting your own YouTube channel. Mm. Um, I'm trying to get mine off the ground as well. How long have you been? How long have you done it? Been doing it? Um, my, I was looking back at my videos the other day, and it was like four or five years ago. But I never really like did anything with it. I just no. messed around, like posted videos of my dog and stuff. Yeah. And then like just <laughs> just recently, I've been wanting to try and do something with it. I, I love your dog. <laughs> your dog has more views. Yeah, he's over 100k now. He's at 100k <laughs> views. Yeah. I think that would that would technically be a viral video if yeah. you're at 100k views if if it was in a shorter period of time. Yeah, and then the videos I'm actually interested in, like reviews and stuff. The I think the biggest one is 50k. That was the it Samsung. Just, yeah, one one. it just shows that dogs do better than, uh, than pets. Technology. Yeah, yeah. And my pet's underneath the table. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna put him out there for for getting <laughs> views. But you know, we can. Uh, yeah, if we get this, maybe I'll think about it if it, if it doesn't work out. Have him on the next podcast. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, so the the thing that I wanted to actually like start off with, this is basically just this, this is just come and hang out. Um, I would show you like my ideal setup of a man cave, but unfortunately I've <laughs> moved yeah. and it's not really my ideal setup and it's just like, so that's it. So my kind of uh, thing will be to ask you and ask other people that come on the show is like, it's, it's to lead, the, the leading question is, like you know what's in your man cave or what is your mm. man cave but really it's more of uh what's your passion what's your passion project what what do you enjoy if you if you could lay down tools tomorrow wouldn't have to actually work anywhere wouldn't have to actually go earn a living and and you know pay bills and stuff like that and it, the one thing that you uh enjoy doing would pay all those bills and everything what mm. it, what would it kind of be it would have to be it would be with gaming um, definitely with gaming professional gaming no I wouldn't want to be a compete or anything because so that, that's a lot of hours to, yeah I'd to find that, that. you see these kids who play like the same game for 10 hours straight mm. um, and I couldn't handle that I'd want to do not something in between just streaming gaming journalism -y type you know like reviewing going to these events and playing games mm. I think like a case of like Jack Frags who he can basically, he's got enough followers now to do what he wants with his channel as long as he plays a bit of Battlefield. So what did Jack Frags, what was his game? Uh, he's mainly Battlefield. He's okay. like the ambassador for Battlefield now. Mm. Um, I think he's got like two to four million subscribers. Just plays Battlefield all the time like okay. and plays games he likes. Goes mm. to these events that, like for EA and stuff. Mm -hmm. Goes to E3 and comes back and talks about it. Okay. I think that would be my ideal job. <laughs>